I want to see what the top frame looks like since the last time I opened this up. And it's hot and it's humid. And I really don't want to be in here very long. So I've got my smoke going. I'm going to get the suit on. This thing is warm. How do you come to a swap meet and not try and buy everything in here? I don't know, but I found these. All right, so I've checked the bees. Now I want to go check my Blue Hubbard squash because I'm going to use that Blue Hubbard squash with the banana habanero salsa recipe that I made for you guys last week. I'm going to use this Blue Hubbard squash. I think it's ready. At least I think it's ready. The only way to tell is to open it up. All right, so let's do that. So I need to open this thing and I am definitely not taking a knife to it. Look at the color of this blue Hubbard squash that I just opened up. Okay, this is everything that I cut off. It's not ripe enough yet, so I ended up cutting a lot of green stuff off. I'm going to go ahead and bake it. I'm going to see what it tastes like. It smells like a cucumber is what it smells like. Um, so we'll see how it tastes. It probably not fantastic, but how is he going to know when to pick these massive gourds? I don't know. So let's bake it. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, I've roasted them. <laughs> Clearly, I let some of them go a little long. Um, I put salt and let them go for quite a while. I don't know, half an hour. And then I added maybe 45 minutes. Then I added some oil flipped them over. Now some of these, like this is, this is clearly too far gone, but some of these, like this one for instance, like that's actually pretty good. The taste of it is, is like an underripe apple. Like it still tastes like a squash, like a, like you might imagine something similar to a butternut squash, but it's not super, I don't know. Um, maximum flavored. So I think definitely it's going to taste super sweet and be nice and creamy and rich when I actually let it ripen long enough on the vine. So that's what I'll do. And in the meantime, I'll probably chop this up. I just have to take a taste of this. Oh my God. It is so good. Okay, let's try the, the blue Hubbard taco with banana 
habanero salsa. It's creamy, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's fresh with the cilantro. Mm. For sure gonna make this again. I hope you guys will come with me to Texas next week. I'm not gonna be in Salt Lake City, here in the Salty Kitchen. Back this way, Lubbock. This way is a little filled. So good.